This week on Twende, we discover one of the deepest lakes in Kenya. We also visit one of the sites of the war between Kenya and Tanzania and go up to the tighter hills and explore a unique forest. Uh-huh. Last week on Twende, we were in Taveta. We visited Lake Jipe and met these amazing people. We also visited the pre-colonial Grogan's Castle where we went chini ya maji. Hapo ndio tulimalizia, lakini mimi nilikuwa nataka kubwa zaidi. I feel I need a bigger pool. Maybe four squared kilometers kind of pool. Mali nyangumi anaweza ogelea. Lakini maji we fresh. That may sound like wishful thinking, but in Taveta, we are allowed to dream. And that is where we continue our story this week. Then from inside the crater, there she is, Taveta's blue gem. These lakes in Taveta are not your normal lakes. For Jipe, you have to go through this marsh to see the lake. For Chala, it is not a marsh, but rather a forest with a steep crater rim whose highest point is 170 meters high. The only way to access the lake is to take a hike down the indigenous forest. The margin is clear. My goodness. I think I can even see fish. <laughs> the water looks clear and inviting, like a giant pool calling my name. Elsafan, Elsafan, Kujo Wogele. Adventure check. Let's Go! Hapa nyangumi anaweza ogelea. A word of caution. Lake Chala is one of the deepest lakes in Kenya with a depth of up to 90 meters. 90 meters, see your feet, meters. There have been cases of people drowning here, so it is good. Atakama unajiamini, ujichunge. The body is a crater lake filled with water that is fed by underground springs from Kilimanjaro. Katika pilka pilka zangu nikiogelea mwendo wa aste aste, I meet with a fisherman. Sije kwa hapa Lake Chala, hapa karibu. Sasa nimekuja. Ni vizuri sana. Mwana maji masafi. Vizuri. Eh, nimeji enjoy. Hapa mali pazuri kwenye amani. Eh, wewe ni wapa? Mimi ni wapa. Maki ziko hapa ziko aina tatu. Kuna chala fish kuna perege uh-huh. kuna paramamba uh-huh. na kuna zile ndogo ndogo tunazita obonyo hii lake imegawanyika mara mbili kuna upande wetu wa Kenya uh-huh. na kuna upande mwingine wa Tanzania uh-huh. lakini sasa upande wa Tanzania ni mdogo upande wa Kenya ndo mkubwa ndo mkubwa ndo mkubwa <laughs> na kote sisi tunaruhusiwa kutembea kwa sababu hatujagawanyika oh. wala tujatengana hai mimi sasa <laughs> he is okay. No one got hurt in the filming of this show. Adam Wuvi Hakushika Samaki. Just like Jipe, about half of Lake Chala is in Kenya and the other half is in Tanzania. Our Zungu Alikwana Gawane easy lakes who Balin Kamam Kate. I feel like I should attempt to make it to Tanzania. By swimming, 
But with a size of four square kilometers, I won't be taking any chances today. And on this day, I met up with other first timers to the lake. Zito, manyoka. Mamba. Hamna kitu. After swimming in Taveta waters, I can feel my Kitaveta improving and I decide to try it out. Jako dada. Yoko kaka yoko. Bo, Bo dada. Eh, yeah. ah, karibu Lake Chala. Lake Chala. Eh, eh aha, hapa ni ziwa Lake Chala. Mm -hmm. Sisi kama wana imbaria group, mm -hmm. tuliform hichi kikundi, tukaona ni vizuri kwa sababu watu walikuwa kija kutembelea hapa ziwa Lake Chala, yeah. walikuwa katika hali ya security ilikuwa ni mbaya. Mm. Na tukaona ni vyema tuweze kuwatengenezea barabara. Mm na njia za kushukia kule ndani ili mtu atakaposhuka ashuke katika hali nzuri na pia security tuko nayo ya kumtu akija na gari yake ama akija na pikipiki yake tuko katika hali nzuri ya security all this for a fee of 150 Kenya shillings for car and 50 Kenya shillings for a person this women's group ensure that there is security and guaranteed enjoyment when you visit here Clearly, Chala is one of those places one must visit. In 1914, the Germans got tired of having half of Lake Chala and half of Lake Jipe. They said, I'm about to butcher the German language. We're Musen Ted Gansen, say, Haben Chala and Jipe and Fuller Guns, Kenya, Warren Will Dotson. That is how Taveta became a battleground between Kenya and Tanzania. This hill in Ziwani, 16 kilometers from Taveta town, was a site of the bloodiest battles between the British and the Germans. It came to be known as Slaughter Hill, or as the locals who didn't care much about foreign pronunciation called it, Salaita. It is here that Her Majesty's government ensured that this show would be presented in English and not German. God save the king. Remnants of that famous battle can still be seen today. Most of those who took part in this war are long dead. But in Taveta, towards the west of the hill, is a living, breathing witness who not only saw it, but took part in that great war. Eh. Waswahili usema kila mbuyu ana shetani wake. But this specific one alikuwa na shetani ndani yake. It is believed that there was a female German sniper who would be inside the baobab tree and would use the advantages of being in there to take out some of those British uh, soldiers. So I want to check out and see her advantages. Let's go. So probably he been there. He's going to get a gun. Yeah. 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 So the British win the war and go back to running their colony Kenya. By the way, if you were living during that time, this was your national flag. I digress. Mwatate was the headquarters of the then Taita Taveta district from 1900 to 1912. The district headquarter was then moved to Voi, which was along the Kenya-Uganda Railway and the Mombasa-Nairobi Highway. 
The town is no longer the county headquarters because the British administration would face another challenge. Ah, this place is too hot. Ah, what's your name again? Mwadaimi? Mwadaimi? No, no, <laughs> no. From now on, you'll be called Michael. Michael, we are going to move this headquarters to Wundanya, and I think we're going to need your jacket. So thank you very much. Get another one. In the 1950s, the British went in search of cooler and greener climes. They were looking for a place whose weather was like back home. They decided to go up the Taita Hills. This road is picturesque. Back then, it was not a smooth tarmac road like the one that exists today. So the journey was not a pleasant one. As one leaves the arid scrubland of Voi and Mwatate, the rise in altitude can be described as dizzying. As one goes up from 580 meters above sea level in Voi to 1,500 meters in Wundanyi. An ascension of about one kilometer in altitude in just 40 kilometers of road. The drastic rise in altitude makes for sharp winding bends that cut across the hills to provide an exciting drive. Then high on the Taita Hills sits the coast region's most elevated town, Undanyi. The town looks like it is in the middle of a forest. Talk about a healthy working space. But this is not how the British would have viewed Wundanyi back then. The area was covered in a thick, unforgiving, continuous forest. Say, Michael, I have a brilliant idea. By order of the Queen, we shall move the capital from Voi, Voi, whatever. We shall bring it to Wundanyi. It's much better climate. Chop, chop, and bring me some tea. And that is why most government services in Taita Taveta County are still found in Vundani. Or it could have been for the scenic views. We're here in Taita Hills, also known as the Kenyan Alps. Breathtaking view. And as you can see right there, can you see that hill where the snow is? That is Vuria. Oh, it's not snow. <laughs> so many snow like in the clouds. As Vuria, that's the highest point uh, in this area, the highest point in coast. You're probably asking yourself, why am I wearing a jacket in coast? This is why. This place is cold. It's very high, um, very beautiful. Come here with the right shoes. Sikuja tuna slippers. Lazo kuja na via tupoa. Hapa utaanguka. But man, hey. This country is beautiful. I'm so happy I'm here. Some of the most beautiful parts of Taita are its indigenous forests, much of which still remains scattered on various hills. One of the most popular ones is Ngangao Forest, located nine kilometers from Vundanyi town. Good news to all you Vitz people, the road is good enough for a small car. Spanning 120 hectares, that is 297 acres, Gangao is the second largest forest and one of the relatively untouched forests of the Taita Hills. As a result, it is a stronghold for many plant and animal species. Located here are two unique trees that literally stand out from the crowd. We're just about to enter Gangao Forest. I'm here with Nathalia and Digila. So tuambia vile tutafanya leo. Oh, kwa leo tutatembelea mother tree hapa ndani Ngangao Forest, alafu tutatembelea pia na tree cave ambayo iko hapa ndani kwa forest baada ya Ngangao. Aya basi twende. Nathaniel has lived here all his life and knows the forest well. 
astonishingly too well. Oh, hapa kuna miti kadhaa inapatikana hapa Taita Forest, kuna Psychotria petitae, kuna Coffea fadeni, Silo tetensis, Psychotria crispetella, Impatiens tetensis, Paulia tetensis, Miletia oblata, Zaimalos monospora, Tonia buchanani, Afrocarpus sambarensis, Acridocarpus. Acridocarpus. Yeah. Gangao Forest is on the third highest peak of the Taita Hills. It is 1,900 meters above sea level. The first is Vuria at 2,200 meters above sea level, followed by Yale. I'm sure British call it Yale. Up on the Jina University talker, by the way. Mm. Fun fact. It is hard to imagine that such a lush forest exists in Taita. Gangao has been described as the jewel of Taita, and I can see why. Let me tell you guys, the air is so fresh, you have to be here to experience it. Manza kwanza nyu wote watu wa city, hapa ndo utajua hewa safi ni nini. Eh, lakini acha tufuate tu magizo. Gangao is a protected area and that means no tree leaves the forest. There are many of these fallen trees that have died a natural death slowly resting and rotting in peace. Gangao's main attraction is still very much alive and growing. Newtonia uh -huh. Watu kama nani watawazunguka atashikilia na mikono hivi wa uzunguke round ndio yeah. waweze kukava hiyo circumference yake watu nane watu nane atashikilia na mkono hivi okay. wazunguke uh -huh. round ndio waweze ku waweze ku eh waweze kuunganisha sana huku taita trees taita hills hii yeah. yeah. hii mother tree ndio iko kubwa zaidi uh -huh. height uh -huh. na pia upana okay. now how old is this tree Oh, it's more than 300 years. Huh? More than 300 years. It may be zaidi ya miaka miya tatu, na bado inendelea kukua. So, huyu ndi wanaezo tupatia history ya Kenya vizuri? Eh, huyu sasa hako na history ya Kenya vizuri sana. Na watu upanda? Ah, ni ngumu kuupanda. Manaki hata kima wenye u monkeys, hawezi panda juu. Ah, uwa nga natumia sasa. Eo, natumia hizi. Zingine ndi wakuje kufikia juu. Ok. Ya, alafu pia ni hardwood. Ya, niko very strong. Hardwood kiangalia mizizi yake hiko na zile battery roots. Zenye zinaeza ipia hile support. Ya kuiwezesha isimame juu kila wakati. Sasa, wacha mkwenyeshe mti wenye sasa utaingia ndani sasa. Puteria and Olti. Yenye ikifikia hii kiwango, yeah. ikikuwa ikifikia hii kiwango, yeah. inaanza kuweza katikati. Yenyewe? Yenyewe. Okisa, okay, kumanisha ita, itendelea hivi kimea tu hivi na kishimo hivi ama ni itafanyika? Bada mda fulani, mm. kwenye mshanza, tari shanza kutengeneza ishimo, mm. bada mda, mda fulani ita, itaanguka. Itaanguka, yeah. okay. Yeah. Na hii ni miaka ngapi? Iko zaidi ya miaka miambili saa hii. Miambili? Miambili na zaidi. Unaona bado inaendelea kukua? Eee. Yeah. Inaendelea ikioza, one day itakuja ikianguke. Ya. Yeah. Unaona kama how long? Unaona in the next 30 years, yeah. itakuwa inaanguka. Yeah. Mahali na pukanyaga ni mwisho wa mzizi, mahali umefikia kwanzia pale kwa, kwa mtu enyewe. Yeah. 
mpaka hapa nimekanyaga ni mzizi wote umetengeneza katri onta ufata venye huko mzizi mzizi bado mzizi ndio huu nakuja 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 ndio huo kiluo aliyo unapana kwa mti so unaona ni kama 10 meters yeah. There are no large animals in this forest, but there are those who have made a home under this giant tree. And what what is this for? Oh, maninyoka. Apana, unawale panyabuku wenye wishi kwa ground. Saa hii ni nyumba yao wanachimba, wanatua umchanga, wanaenda wanalala huko ndani. Nyawale panyabuku. Kilugati sinaitu angubi. Na wili wa kuenda ngubi. Na ni important watu mwone hii. Awa tu wanafanya kazi mob sana. Hapa kusafisha hii forest. Tusifanya hivi. Usikuja ukunya lafu wache hii. Ama ulinuwa hapa. Sindi wa maje. Heba. Ni vizuri kunywa viti yako. Weke kwa mfuko. Kwa mfuko utoke na hii. Last warning. Nimi takupelekea hii. Last warning. These forests in Taita offer an unparalleled experience as they boast a tree you can find nowhere else in the world. Tell us about this tree. Umti ni Psychotria petitae. Ni umti wa kipeke ambao unapatikana Taita peke yake ulimwengu mzima. Na hiyo jina hiyo petitae means found only in Taita. So kuna characteristic yenye tunaweza tumia ku tofautisha na hizo miti zingine. Mm. So ukichukua hii matawi ya umti, mm -hmm. Psychotria petitae, mm -hmm. alafu ujaribu kuinua hivi kidogo, mm -hmm. ukiangalia hii leaf, marg leaf margin mm. inakuwa iko transparent. Mm. Hey, so this is the only way ama the only characteristics yenye itazi differentiate yeah. na hizo miti zingine. Taita forests are protected today, but this hasn't always been the case. The scars of the past remain visible and Gangao has a few. Ishimo ni nini? Ishimo ni sopit. Mbao ambazo zilikuwa zinachimbwa kitambo kabla misitu ianze kulindwa. Watu walikuwa wanachimba hizi mashimo, alafu ana roll hizo logs za miti juu, alafu ana kata mbao kutumia ile msumeno. Msumeno. Lakini saa vile kuna lindwa saa hizi ya wakati tena. So hizi mashimo zitakuwa zinapotea. Ya. Oko kuna kuna kadhaa. Ziko kadhaa. Ni ile tu zingine zimeenda zikizibwa. Zikizibwa. So baada ya miaka kadhaa nafikiri zitakuwa zimepotea. Zimepotea ya. Leo the sawmills have gone quiet and the forest is safe for now. There are five forests in the Taita Hills. Chawia, Fururu, Mbololo, Gangao and Vuria. The forest fragments lost 23.2% of forest cover between 1973 and 2016. Today these areas are protected. The forests are very important to life in these hills as they are the sources of numerous rivers. The Dawida Biodiversity Conservation Community Resource Center provides guides and accommodation for those wishing to visit the forest. It costs 400 shillings for citizens and 600 shillings for non-citizens. You may enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, you may learn Kitaita. Kusema bayo tena ni nini? Divo nana. Divo nana. Yeah. Aya, sawa. Divo nana. Divo nana. Sawa. Guys, come to Gagawa Forest. Come see the mother tree. Come see endemic trees. Come see the tree cave. Come and breathe the fresh air. Come and just enjoy yourself. You know, take some time to have a vacation. This is, is one of the one of the places you could come. Very beautiful, very peaceful. Utapata watu kuna security, unaweza park gari yako hapo. Naya. Before we go. Remember the British move in the headquarters thing? Yeah, it didn't stop at Wundanyi. Just like the parable of the prodigal son, in 2020, the county headquarters relocated from Wundanyi back to the original headquarters set up by the British in 1900. Yeah.
Hapa mwatate ni pazuri mwadime. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Lakini maybe after this vile tumekuwa tukihama hama tuende maktau ama taveta. No lakini mwatate hapa ndio pazuri. Ah ah, don't step on the grass eh. I really have enjoyed my time here. Taita Taveta is one county that is rich with history, cross-boundary lakes, amazing forests, and beautiful people. It is worth the visit. And now, we can roll the credits. <laughs>